my name is Edward Cook uh, from Wayland's Forge Silversmiths. I'm based in Skerries, which is a small harbour town in North County Dublin. It's very close to the sea, which is very important to me. I get a lot of inspiration from the seascapes around here. I make a lot of small scale tableware in silver uh, for presentations, for gifts. I make a range of jewellery and I use a lot of found objects in my jewellery. I started silversmithing while still in school in Cardiff. And it was my art teacher's husband who'd come in to the school and was teaching an extracurricular course. And I'd failed both art and craft design at O level, uh, so I was resitting. And the jewellery was one of the courses which I took and passed with flying colours. And after that, after school, I worked in a high street jewellers for a few years to try and get the retail side of the business because it was something I was very, very interested in. And then I worked, I travelled around the world working in various jobs from hot dog selling in Melbourne to grape picking in France and had a great insight into different cultures and ways of life around the world. And when I came home, back to Cardiff, I took up an evening class in jewellery and it was my silversmithing teacher from school was back in the evening class and they pushed me into education. And so after doing a foundation course, I came over to Dublin to NCAD where I took a degree in craft metals, which I passed. A new line of work or inspiration that I've had has been using local objects, found objects from the beach, which is really only a hundred yards from the front door of the studio. And it's beach glass and it's, it's, it's a, a material which I've never really known what to do with. I just knew that I loved it and it was, the history behind the glass is, is fantastic. I mean, some pieces are hundreds of years old and you don't know if it's come from a shipwreck, if it's just been carelessly thrown overboard by a, a deckhand, you know, whatever it is. But it's lovely and it has such a beautiful texture and colour and this history and this whole mystery behind it. And it's only recently that I've now come across the right way of using it in jewellery and to set it and to give it its best, the best look possible. Since opening my studio to the public just over a year ago, I've been getting a lot more commissioning work from people just passing. And it's, it's lovely because I think people are quite nervous about commissioning a piece. They don't know how it's going to come out, what the whole process is. And so I talk them through it very easily. And they come up with an idea and I can give them a rough price or they can give me a budget to work to. After the design process, which really the inspiration can come from many different places, I transfer the design onto a piece of tracing paper. And the tracing paper then, that pattern, I'll put onto a sheet of silver because almost all of my work starts off as a flat sheet of silver. So once the pattern has been put onto the silver, I cut it out with a piercing saw, file the edges and polish the edges, and then I'll start forming the piece with different stakes, different mandrels. I could hammer it into an old tree trunk with a dip cut out of it. That would be to create a sort of bowl shape, and then turn the piece over then and smooth it off on a stake with a variety of hammers, starting with a, a hide mallet, like a leather mallet, and then moving on to a planishing hammer, which is a very, very highly polished face to the hammer. And then it's quite a repetitive job of just tapping away, ding, 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 for anywhere up to 10, 15 minutes. After this, any pieces that need to be soldered on any other elements would be soldered in the, in the, on the hearth using a gas flame. The piece is then pickled in an acid solution which takes away the oxides and after this then it's the polishing and this can be done with three or four grades of polish on different mops and brushes so to get away all the surface scratches and the excess solder and just to finish the piece off to a bright mirror finish. <laughs> 